Excerpts from Utopia by Sir Thomas More, Euthanasia and Suicide. I have already related to you with what care they look after their sick, so that nothing is left undone which may contribute either to their health or ease. And as for those who are afflicted with incurable disorders, they use all possible means of cherishing them and of making their lives as comfortable as possible. They visit them often and take great pains to make their time pass easily. But if any have torturing, lingering pain without hope of recovery or ease, the priests and magistrates repair to them and exhort them, since they are unable to proceed with the business of life, are become a burden to themselves and all about them, and have, in reality, outlived themselves. They should no longer cherish a rooted disease, but choose to die, since they cannot live but in great misery. Being persuaded, if they thus deliver themselves from torture or allow others to do it, they shall be happy after death. Since they forfeit none of the pleasures, but only the troubles of life by this, they think they not only act reasonably, but consistently with religion, for they follow the advice of their priests, the expounders of God, God's will. Those who are wrought upon by these persuasions either starve themselves or take laudanum, but no one is compelled to end his life thus. And if they cannot be persuaded to it, the former care and attendance on them is continued. And though they esteem a voluntary death, when chosen on such authority, to be very honorable, on the contrary, if any one commits suicide without the concurrence of priests and senate, they honor not the body with a decent funeral, but throw it into a ditch. Death. They are nearly all of them firmly persuaded that good men will be infinitely happy in another state. Therefore, though they be compassionate to the sick, they lament no man's death, unless they see him loath to part with life.